This is Chrissy Idaho Painter here on Paint Live TV. Today on this video, I'm gonna be talking about brushes, what brushes I use, where I use them, and why I use them. So stay tuned for this video. All right, so here we are. Behind me, I got a few of my tool bags, and I'm gonna, um, I got some, some of the brushes I pulled out of my tool bags, and I'm gonna talk about, you know, brushes, where I use them, why I use them, and what brushes I like. And I'm gonna start on the outside of the house. And on the outside of the house, today's paints dry really, really fast. Where I live, um, it's pretty hot in the summer, and very dry where I live. And so the guys have a tendency to just ruin paintbrushes really fast because they don't clean them often enough. I mean, it is really good practice to clean your brushes every hour just to keep them clean because uh, the brushes are expensive. You should buy really good brushes because you're only as good as your brush. But nowadays, just because of the way um, the guys don't clean them, the uh, paints dry really fast. They coagulate on the, um, the bristles and just make a big mess. Chinex bristle brushes are the best for exterior paints now. This is a Chinex bristle brush. This is um, one from Premier, it's the Riverdale. And I like a 100% Chinex bristle brush. And on exteriors, we only use three inch angled sash brushes. The reason why we use angle is they get into corners a lot easier than a flat brush. An angled brush is a lot more versatile, in my opinion, flat. That's arguable, obviously, but um, Chinex bristle brushes are a little bit stiffer than other brushes, so we don't use them on the interiors. We use them on in exteriors, and this is typically the only brush we use when painting exteriors. So this is the Premier Riverdale. Um, absolutely love this brush right here. This is a high-end brush, and you really should be buying high-quality brushes. If I'm still on the outside of the house, uh, we do staining. We stain fences, and we do stain decks. There is absolutely nothing better than the deck boss when it comes to staining decks. This thing is huge, lays out decks, does amazing, attaches to an extension pole. It's the, one of the best built brushes you'll ever buy. It's um, definitely the best built stain brush you'll ever buy. It's absolutely huge. We use it for back, back brushing log cabins, T111 siding, um, and decks. If I'm doing fences, sometimes we use them for fences, but the fences up here, rough sawn cedar, have a tendency to beat up stain brushes um, really fast. And this is a really high-end, expensive stain brush. On fences, we're typically gonna use something like this, four inch or six inch natural bristle uh, stain brush. Doesn't drip paint, like if you're to use um, a regular paint brush, it doesn't hold paint like these stain brushes do. You need a stain brush. So those are um, three of the brushes in my um, bag for doing exterior repaint, staining, and decks. Now we'll jump onto the inside of a house. On the inside of the house, doing cut-ins around doors, windows, ceilings. I like a blended bristle brush, and this is a Tynex Oreo blended bristle brush. This is um, Premier's Montauk right here. And I typically always search for brushes that are DuPont bristles. And DuPont bristles, they don't absorb water as fast as like Tynex or as fast as nylon and polyester does. And so they hold their shape and they, they um, hold their stiffness a lot longer. DuPont bristles um, are amazing and they clean up a lot easier than regular polyester and nylon. Um, this is a firm blend. I really like firm blended brushes because interior paints these days are just getting thicker and thicker and thicker with environmental regulations. And it's easier to manipulate the paint and easier to do cut-ins with a firm bristle brush. But every now and then we run into things um, doing touch-ups. We've got to brush a windowsill um, or brush a door jam. It's very rare because we're typically always spraying our trim. But I, I really like carrying a soft blended brush right here, or not a soft blend, a soft nylon brush. This is the Premier's Hampton Tynex. So Tynex is um, DuPont's version of nylon right here. And I use for doing touch-ups on in interiors and exteriors, uh, this is an inch and a half right here, angled bristle brush right here, and it's a lot thinner. Great for doing touch-ups on trim, all kinds of stuff, uh, very versatile brush right there. Once again, this is a single um, bristle, so it's, it's Tynex right here. This is the two inch version of it. It's a little bit thicker right here, so if I had um, larger touch-up areas or if I had to hand brush a windowsill, I'm gonna use this brush right here. I do carry a three inch of this, but I uh, very rarely use the three inch. 
And then I got another brush right here, and this is an absolute must to have. This is the Richard Gooseneck brush. If you've never seen this brush, this thing is incredible. And we use it like, like almost every paint job or every other paint job for something outside, reaching up to the corner of a sofa or on the inside of a house, you've got a ceiling fan that's up high. You don't have an A-frame ladder, you can get it. This thing will attach to an extension pole. I don't know if I got, I got an extension pole right here. It screws onto an extension pole and it also bends and holds its shape. It's absolutely amazing right here. The Richard Gooseneck. The only thing I'd have to say to criticize this brush is I wish, wish the bristles were significantly stiffer and higher quality, you know, on this brush, but um, there's nothing like it and it's a must have brush. It's the Richard Gooseneck. So there's a little bit about some of the brushes that I carry, you know, why I carry them, what I use them for, um, the brushes, uh, some of these brushes, or possibly check our store at store.theidahopainter.com. You might find them in our store. You can check out the video description below if you wanna learn more about these brushes or where you can get them. Um, there you go. If you've enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel. Please consider giving us a thumbs up. You know, hit the notification bell if you have any questions about brushes. Leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to answer your questions. And um, hey, once again, like we always say, we'll see you on our next video. Out.